Hello everyone, my name is Manuel Quintana, and I'm here to tell you today about a new class that we've added to our on-demand learning platform called DAX for Paginated Reports. All right, so for this class, DAX for Paginated Reports, we're naturally gonna take the time to explore what's gonna be the Analysis Services Query Designer. So if you're using that Power BI Report Builder and you're connecting to Tabular Analysis Services, whether that's on-prem, maybe using Azure Analysis Services, or probably the most common thing here is you're connecting to a Power BI data set, you're gonna to need to know and understand and be comfortable with the Analysis Services Query Designer, how that UI works, and the DAX that it generates when you're trying to curate this data set. Right? Sometimes in simple kind of reporting needs, the designer just kind of works for you and it's really nice and it's great. But in other more complex scenarios, you need to feel comfortable on what is that DAX that it's using, how potentially could you modify it, and maybe in certain situations, take complete control and rewrite that DAX yourself. So we're going to explore kind of the default way, some of the default functions that the query designer leverages itself. We're also going to explore some different DAX table functions so you can write your own DAX statements and also not just curating a single query but kind of bringing it full circle where if you're going to want to parameterize it pretty common request how you can go ahead and maybe curate those data sets to leverage with your report parameters so it's really all about just making you feel a bit more comfortable with how we utilize DAX in that paginated report builder so you can create those data sets that are just going to make your reporting life that much easier so hopefully you're excited, and I'll see you in DAX for Paginated Reports.